We have tuppence, small paper and strings. You can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your fists holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh.
Having actually seen you perform, Bert, in London, wow, um, many years ago, many many years ago. So the very first time you were told you would be uh, tap dancing upside down, what was going through your head at the time? Well, do you know what I? Um, when I got my script before rehearsal started, there was nothing about that in the script, and so <laughs> surprise, we started rehearsals, and it's like, oh, Gavin, you've got to go for a harness fitting today, and I'm like, oh, am I going to fly? And so in my head, I'm thinking, oh, at one point I'll hold hands with Mary Poppins and we'll just fly up like Peter Pan or something, you know? We'll just like fly up in one of the numbers. Um, and it was only later when they explained what I might be doing, <laughs> literally walking up the proscenium arch, <laughs> tap dancing upside down across the top of the stage, singing upside down and then tapping down the other side. It was, it was crazy, it was very scary, but they built me like a swing frame in the rehearsal room so I could stand on a chair with my harness on and just clip myself up to the harness and flip upside down and just practice tapping upside down and uh, the blood rushes to your head very quickly <laughs> after about 30 seconds of tapping so you have to keep flipping back the right way and like because you start getting faint but um, it was very scary and very hard to do in the first place but then once I nailed it it was of course my favorite part of the show because they used to get such wows and applause from the audience and I was the lucky lucky guy that got to do that fabulous trip. It's my favorite part too. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It's the best part. Is it the craziest thing you've ever done on stage? I think so, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, last year I was doing a tap dance with four legs on in a different sure. show, but um, uh, the, the tap dancing upside down, very, very high, was certainly the hardest. And, and you've done a few crazy things in your career as well, right? I have. You've both had tentacles. <laughs> Squad, yes. I think is the nickname. So what was that like, just wearing that gigantic costume? Oh, it was a total thrill. I had never had a costume quite like that when I played Ursula on Broadway, and I probably never will again. Um, I had, you know, I had an enormous fat suit under this gorgeous costume. I was half painted blue, and then I also had this amazing netting that I wore to make my skin look blue, and had this crazy, crazy wig that weighed like nine pounds. And um, I had to be followed around by a team of people that would take my tentacles on and off because you can't, the Lunt Fontaine where we did the Broadway show of The Little Mermaid sure. is very, very small. Uh -huh. And so you can't possibly be Ursula backstage, <laughs> not full out. Um, and so they would harness me off. in to the tentacles and there were three different sets. It had to have been heavy, right? Like. They, well, two sets that were actually very light and the set that was really heavy was the set in Four Unfortunate Souls that you kick up at the end and sure, it's yeah. a very big spider web and mm -hmm. it looks so amazing but it really was a thrill because you know how often do you get to, to do these sort of crazy wonderful yeah. things in Broadway shows to, to create roles that you've seen on the TV or in the movies and then if you're lucky enough to have a director that isn't saying, I want you to do a carbon copy of Dick yeah. Van Dyke, make your own version of Burt is so great because you have such a great basis, Dick Van Dyke in the movie, to then go where you want to create this role. It, yeah. was, it was amazing. It was the first time I created a role from scratch and it was great. It is, it's something about all of the Disney movies that we've all grown up with mm. and loved is that these characters become so iconic. So when they get translated to Broadway musicals, we've been so fortunate. And Disney, Disney on Broadway does this great job of really letting us reinvent because they want it to be something new that people will see for the very first time, something that they're very familiar with that they'll be rediscovering for the very first That's time. That's great. Well, we're very excited to see you out on that Epcot stage. Thank you so we're much. And I'm sure some of our followers will be here uh, quite frequently. We'll so. see you there then. Thank you. Bye.